a burning sense of injustice fueling the burning of the barricades in Barcelona tonight. The air, thick with tear gas and anger, as protesters vent their fury on the government. The city's famous narrow streets and squares, now the scene of running battles with the riot police, who were struggling to hold the line at times. The day started with a general strike and a series of mass marches across the region, including here on the main highway to France, blocked for hours by tens of thousands of people who delivered this blunt message to those in power in Madrid. I couldn't say I am a Spanish anymore. I'm ashamed of Spain. This explosion of violence was caused by the lengthy jail sentences imposed on nine Catalan independence leaders on Monday many furious at the harsh punishment for those who organised the 2017 referendum on whether to break away from Spain. This is shameful. We have people in prison because they put on ballots so that we could vote. They did it following the mandate from the people who elected them. That's why we're so angry. The only thing we want is to be able to decide on our future. The former leader of the independence movement, Charles Puigdemont, was briefly detained and then released in Belgium today, where he's living in exile, as the Spanish government continues to try and extradite him to face trial. Despite these scenes, support for Catalan independence is actually at its lowest level for two years. According to the latest opinion poll, only 44% of people here back secession. But if this homage to Catalonia's in prison nine is anything to go by, that minority is vocal and organised, with some willing to escalate into violence and a dangerous challenge to the government in Madrid. Dan Rivers, News at 10.